This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. いただきます。So I'm taking a Japanese language test in December. The level that I'm doing is N2. I passed N3 maybe two years ago and I haven't really studied since then. And apparently there's a huge gap between N3 and N2. So I doubt that I'm going to pass N2. But honestly, I think that it's okay to just give it a try. Since I signed up for the test, it got me to start studying again, which I wouldn't have done if I didn't sign up. So even if I fail, I still see a benefit in doing the test. I also just think it's generally good to keep learning, whether it's a new language or a new skill. I feel like my brain is getting slower and slower as I get older 
older and sometimes it refuses to learn new information and now when I study I get so 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 sleepy afterwards so while I study today I'm also going to prepare myself some snacks and so with that I want to share with you guys today's sponsor which is Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko. Tokyo Treat is a monthly subscription box with the latest limited edition seasonal Japanese snacks. November's box is Akiba Adventure and I love all the quirky snacks they've selected for this box. Let's see what we should try from this box today. There's a mystery Fanta. That sounds really interesting. I don't think I'm gonna have it today but I love this kind of thing so I'm gonna try this later. Look at this fish jerky, that's so funny. I think I'm gonna try this Polinki corn snack and these Gudetama biscuits. And then from the Sakurako box. Sakurako focuses on artisan and authentic Japanese snacks. This month's theme is Colors of Koyo, which celebrates the beautiful colors of autumn in Japan. Sakurako boxes always come with tea pairings and one Japanese tableware. Okay, first of all, check out this month's plate. The colors are inspired by the autumn colors and it's super cute. I'm gonna have the tea. And since this is a autumn box, I'm gonna go with the most autumn looking thing. So I'm gonna have this momichi cookie and momichi manju. This is so cute. I think this is my favorite one. So this one is a momichi cookie from Kyoto. Mm. It's very crunchy. It's very good actually. So I love that the booklets include some interesting facts about each snacks as well as the allergens. I just find it much more interesting when you know a little bit more about what you're eating. For example, for this tea, they say that in order for them to really bring out the autumn colors, they purposefully omitted mixing green tea with this blend. Yeah, just a little fact like that makes it more interesting for me. Okay, now I'm going to try this manju. It's filled with cheese cream. This is really good and I'm glad I picked these two snacks because one is more creamy and the other one is a little bit more light so it kind of balances each other out and then I also have the tea. Okay, I'm gonna try these two snacks from the Tokyo Treat box. The Gudetama biscuits are so cute. Each biscuit has a different illustration on it. This has a nostalgic taste. It tastes like something I used to eat when I was young. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this one. I like this one. I've actually not seen this brand before, but if I see this at the supermarket, I would get it again. This one's good. If you're interested in trying out some authentic Japanese snacks, check out Tokyo Treat and Sakura Ko. You can use the code LOVESOUP or check the link in my description to get $5 off your first box. So some people are asking what textbooks I'm using for study and I'm not really following any type of method. I'm just studying casually in my own way. But the textbook I'm using is this one, Shinkansen Master. This is the reading comprehension. And I also have this Kikutan vocabulary book. Masa is studying English with the English vocabulary version of this. So I thought I would get it as well.
Perhaps one day I'll hit the lotto Then my bills would all be paid Money no longer would be a bother My life would never be the same We could travel all around this world Fly first class every day But if I never hit the lotto Would you still love me anyway? Perhaps one day I'll reach the big time The whole world would know my name For well, every other magazine cover Would use me for their campaign We would be the hardest couple around From New York to L.A. But if I never reach the big time Would you still love me anyway? One day I'll have the answers For every question that's ever been Most brilliant minds of our time Will call me colleague and friend We would never have any problems at all well, I'd solve them each right away But if I never have the answers Would you still love me anyway? Well, if I never hit the lotto Or reach the big time one day well, If I never have the answers Would you still love me? Would you still love me anyway?